Hello? What? He is my husband and he's not going to come to... What nonsense! How dare you! How dare you talk to me like that? Do you know who you're talking to? Mrs. Chike? Yes! Oh, I see. Listen and listen very good. Stop! If you have the guts to talk to me, homebreakers, look at them. Okay. <laughs> okay now. Hello? What? She did what? Please, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. How dare you pick my call? Why can't I pick your calls? Hmm? Are you not my husband? Oh, I see. It's because it was your girlfriend that was calling you. <laughs> ah! 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 What did I do? What did I do to you? Ah! What is wrong with you? Mom, nothing is wrong with me. It's just that you should stop fighting with Dad. My sweet little baby, it's not as if I enjoy fighting with your dad. But you won't understand. Mom, what do not you understand? When the pastor say that wife should respect their husband, are you not your wife? Are you implying that I'm disrespecting your father? No, not really, but... But what? Didn't you hear from the same pastor that husbands should love their wife? Huh? Does your father love me? The way he treats me doesn't look like a man who loves his wife. Mom, I'm sorry, I don't mean to upset you. Mm, you did not upset me. The thought of your father alone upsets me. Just. Go, go, I'm okay. Sorry, mom. Just leave. I'm oh, no, sorry. Yes, you will see me soon. I'll be there soon, yes. Okay, thank you. Valeria! Val! Hurry up! Come on, where are you? Come out! Mom. Go to the car, go to the uh, car. Mom, if we, we are... Go to the car, I'm coming to join you. Mom, we are... Oh, please! We are running late. Mom! No! The car. But Mom...
Look at you. Drunk as usual. If you are a good wife, I won't be out there drinking. Hmm. Blame it on me. What else will you do? Everything wrong in your life is my mistake. As if I tied you on the chair. Fourth drink in your mouth, useless man. Shame on you, look. Shame! Doris. Huh? You see? Why I am what I'm talking? Come, Doris! Doris, I I will deal with you. Come over here. Doris, if I get up, I won't take it lightly. Come over here. Come. Oh. Look at you. Shameless man. You will sleep here today. Rubbish. I'm just coming from this song. God, great. Hey, Chiki, I heard you brought in a chimko. Sure, sure, sure. Whoa, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, my You know, that is a sizable commission. Are you jealous? Of course. There's no possible that I can't be jealous. You know, you know it's easy, see, man. Oh. I'm hosting the guys after work today. Oh, I see you. Oh, sure. Man. You know, to celebrate and all that. Um, you can choose the bar for tonight. Ah, oh, TK, I, I would have loved to. But I have to be with my family this night. I mean, we we'll have plans already. Come on, call your wife and tell her you'll be late. Ah, oh, TK. TK, I'm sorry. I have to be with my family, like I said. I'm sorry. <gasps> okay, suit I'm, yourself I'm sorry, then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey. Thank you. 
I was thinking whether we could just have an opportunity to meet again or for me to just give you a call, that's all. All right, let me see if I have my car here. Uh -huh. I don't think so, but... Daddy Junior! Daddy Junior, wait! What is it? Junior school fees. Junior school fees? Yes, give me junior school fees. I told you before that I don't have. How many times will I keep hearing you don't have? How many times? What is your problem? What is my problem? You are asking me what is my problem? Yes, I'm asking I told you I don't have. Pay since you have. I should pay. First time I paid, second time I paid. I find myself amazed at the many battles we engage in today. Be it money or matters of the heart. Very few of us know how to fight the right way or understand who we're really fighting against. To win any battle, you have to have the right strategy and resources because victories don't come by accident. They come by the grace of God. to tell me that your PTA meeting was today? Mom, I tried telling you, but you said that anything I wanted to talk about had to wait till this evening. Oh, my darling. I am so, so sorry, okay? Yes. I hope you were not punished. Never mind. Oh, don't worry. I will talk to your proprietor tomorrow, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. Gosh, I'm so tired. Let me go inside and freshen up. See. Always say that. Eh? That's what mom always says. Because that's the truth. You will not understand. Dad, what is there not to understand? That if you love my mom, you won't hit her. Baby, what is it? Mom, do you think that you'll be angry that I failed mass? You failed mass? How yes, is that even possible? Mom, seven over ten. Oh, my baby. You couldn't solve three out of the questions? Yes, Mom. Don't worry. Huh? Don't worry, everything will be fine. You didn't know it, that is why you didn't get it. It's okay. But, Mom, Daddy did not like when I feel. He, he would think whether I'm a failure. No, my little sweet baby, you're not a failure. And you can never be a failure. Listen, when we are done eating, we are going to look into the mass and see why you failed it, okay? Mom, you and I. What? Mom, you don't know mass. Ah, yes, I agree that I don't know mass, but not when it comes to Jesus to mass. Mom, do you think it should be easy? But I've been the one helping you all this way. That was basic classes. Oh, I can see. You're not serious. 
Come on, let's eat our food. You know, chicken, I told you to them I will surprise you. I will show you something that you don't know. <laughs> No, I ate it. I ate it, but now, but now. Definitely. I like to do everything I'm doing in moderation. Mm. Whatever surprise you want to give me, it should be moderated. Ah. Yeah, sure. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, ladies. Please come. How are you? You need us? Yes, they're your friends, yeah? Yeah. Can you pay our bills? I am capable. Get your friends. Come join us. I'm very, very tired. Why not keep it and wait for your daddy to return? He can help you with it. Okay, mom. That if he returns. the time a responsible married man is coming back home. Eh? Please, I have a headache. Why don't you have a headache? You close from work, you go to bar and sit there and drink until the bar closes. Why don't you have a headache? Abigail, please. I work hard for the money I spend. What would be the use of money if I can't enjoy it? Why do you expect me to come running home after the office? What am I running home to? Chicky. What you are running home to? Yes. Hey, Chiki, you have a family. You have a wife and a beautiful daughter. Or have you forgotten that particular fact? Have you forgotten this particular fact? Look, I work hard so you could live here. Abia. Do I have to babysit you too? Mm. Do you have to babysit me too? Yes. Chiki, 
Listen and listen very good. If you think you can behave anyhow, you know, do anyhow in this house because you have little change in your pocket. Asiasi, you are lying. You must be a joker. Thank you, Omar. Hey, who is mad? Uh, eh? Who is mad? Chiki, I am not a joker. I am not mad. It is who is mad. You are mad! You're going crazy, yo. I am going crazy. You've gone crazy, yo. Now you get crazy. Uh, you are the crazy. Yeah. Money you transferred to your cousin. How would you do a thing like that without telling me? And how many times have I warned you to stop giving my money to your cousin and that her lazy husband? This is the reason why I did not tell you. Because I know you will behave like this. She needed the money and I gave it to her. How is it my problem that she needs money? Has there ever been any time she doesn't need money? Their landlord was going to throw them out of the house. Where is she supposed to go with the kids if we did not help them out? Happy girl, please. I'm not her husband. She's not my business. Stop giving my money to them. She is my business. Yes, she is my business. And the money I gave to her is also mine. Oh, the peanuts you pay into that account, does that make the money yours? I'm the one working my ass off to get that money, to end that money that you're throwing away. Hmm. I did not ask you to work your ass off. Yes, I did not ask you to do that. Valeria, follow your daddy. He will drop you off. No, her school is out of my way. I'm going to Abuja. I have a seminar there. You are traveling? Yes. When were you going to tell me? I just did. Beautiful as well as a smart. Who? <laughs> the Abigail in the Bible. She saved her husband even though he didn't deserve it. He was worthless. Aren't they all? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm here to check your house. You are Mrs. Call me Doris. Why didn't you call me? I sit here to just like when look my husband was alive we used to sit here talk a lot and um, made each other laugh you know what I mean uh, there yeah this is my dining area the second most favorite place in the house for me I have had a lot of laughters here and I shed a lot of tears too Would you like to go inside? Come on, let's go inside and see the rest of the oh, place. Okay, All right, yeah. bring out your phone. Yes. My well start taking pictures.
<sighs> Smartphones. <laughs> I've always wondered when I would get one for myself. But, you know, my phone, all it does is make calls, receive calls, <laughs> nothing exciting. <laughs> um, you have a beautiful home here. It's going to be very difficult parting with it. Oh, well. <laughs> I, you're right, but I think it's time to move on. <sighs> I see. I will see how much houses like this cost in this area and get back to you tomorrow. Oh, oh tomorrow. Let's see. What time then? Um, 12 noon would be perfect. Uh, 12 noon. No, I don't. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I've forgotten he won't be home tomorrow. Um, 12 will be fine by me then. Okay, then. So, see you tomorrow. All right, ma'am. Where is your favorite place in this house? <laughs> Curiosity, the said, killed the cat. Yeah? But not to worry. When you come tomorrow, I'll let you know. Okay. okay. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh, see you here. Take care. You too. Bye, then. You too. Bye. <sighs> I can... I can feel anger and bitterness in her. She's angry. Very, very bitter. God, give me the grace to help her. Help me to help her. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My dad said he can dance, but only if he do it together with my mom. Like he started dancing in a funny way. <laughs> they were dancing like this. It was so hilarious. Like my mom, my mom fell on the floor. She was laughing so hard she could not even breathe. <laughs> you are so lucky. Whenever my parents are together, they always fight. Oh, yeah. I wish I live in your house. <coughs> Emily, how are your parents? They are fine, ma. Okay. We are about to eat lunch. You are welcome to join us. Thank you. Love you, right? I just want to talk to you, Mom. You know, you and Dad don't talk. What you do is to yell, and I don't want to be yelled at. Right, sleep with my darling. This is the price your kind of house goes for in this area. Oh, I see. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Abigail, what does your husband do for a living? I did not tell you anything about my husband. Well, he's a sales rep for Le Africa Laboratories. I see. Do you go to church? Yes, but occasionally, you know. Occasionally? You attend church occasionally because your pastor preaches occasionally? Mrs. Doris, my husband and I have been married for 13 good years. We have just one daughter, Valerie. We believe in God like most people do. And we go to church whenever we have time. 
I will appreciate it if you don't examine my personal life. I am just here to help you sell your house. That's all. How is your prayer life? Is it hot? I, I won't say hot, but not cold either. You know, I'm highly a spiritual person, yes? But why do you want to examine my personal life? Well, you see, um, I, I see me in you. I mean, what I used to be, I, I see it right in you now. I care so much, I wouldn't want you to step on burning coals, if you know what I mean. What burning coals are you talking about? If you were asked to change something, one thing in your life today, what would that be? Just one thing? Just one thing. I would say my marriage. You know, my marriage needs a little help. The only thing we know how to do well is to fight. Uh -huh. I am not too sure about that. What are you talking about? Uh, couples fight, they quarrel. I mean, that's all part of marriage, okay? If I may ask, um, when you quarrel with your husband, at the end of it all, do you feel like you've won the battle? Exactly. Oh, the last question, please. When was the last time you prayed for your husband? And with your husband? I can't really remember. I thought as much. You know what, Abigail? It's time I showed you the most favorite room of mine in the house. If you don't mind. Well, uh, this is where I do my fighting. I call it my battle room. Closet. My battle room. So you wrote every prayer of your life here? Well, call it my prayer strategy. You see, my husband Luke and I, we used to do exactly what you and your husband are doing now. But I discovered it got me nowhere. So I decided to face the Lord in prayer. Learn from his words what he taught about marriage. He asked me to let go so he could lift up the heavy weight for me. I then decided to do more praying, focus on God, trust in his words, listen to him and believe in him, hope in him. I have never seen anything like this before. I admire it. I really do. But I don't have time to pray like this every day. Abigail. But you do have time to fight every day, right? Now listen to me. Abigail, just give me one hour in a week and I will teach you how to fight your battles with the right weapon. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. In any condition you find yourself, oh, go to God in prayer. Since you have okay with the asking price, I would like to add it to the list. That's good. Um, mm. I'll think about our other discussion. Oh, Abigail, forgive my inquisitive nature. But you see, I see in you a warrior that needs to be awakened. Just allow God to do it. And then I hope God does his job. Thank you, ma'am. Do have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will.
God. Please bring her back to you. Give me the grace to be able to channel her back to you, Lord. Awesome God you are. In any condition you find yourself, oh, go to God in prayer. Abigail, what's the meaning of this? The whole house is messed up! What kind of a lazy person are you? Chike, it takes two to make a marriage work. I am not your housemaid, you know. You have to do your part to make this marriage work. I am playing my part, my friend. And you should do the same. You think I'm your housemaid? Better still, your cleaner. between you and Eva. Me and Eva? Are you crazy? I saw the way you were looking at her. I hope you are not sleeping with her. Or is she the reason you don't spend time with your family? How can I even spend time with a woman like you when all you do is to knock? Hey, I am not done talking with you. And I also want to know what is going on between you and Diana. Whatever is going on between Diana and I, is none of your business. Get out of my way. Chike! Chike! Chike, come back here! Chike! Chike, come back here! Oh, go to God in prayer. In any situation you find yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you saw what happened. I know you don't like what is happening between your dad and I, but don't let it bother you. You will understand when you grow up. No, more. I don't want to grow up. What? Yes, if all adults do is yell at each other, I won't grow up. Don't talk like that. Listen to me. No, now. mom. I won't grow up. I don't want to grow up, get married, quarrel at my husband, then fight. I won't grow up. Are you downcasted? Is your marriage broken? Oh, go to God in prayers. Are you confused or you don't? Um, chicken, chicken, what is going on? You, you can't tell me nothing and you've been like this since you came to the office. It's not okay. It's not okay. Are, are, are you, I don't know where you started hiding things from me. Did your very good friend. Look, Dan, I am tired of her. I'm sick and tired of her big girl and her untidiness. Her untidiness? Yes. I'm tired of it. C come on, man. Come on, you, you married her. How tightness and all. Chicken, marriage is not like food that you have to choose which you want. Okay? You have to set it all. That is what marriage is all about. Um, wait, 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 Chicken. I hope you're not cheating on this woman. Dan, we've been friends for many years now. Ah, uh, sure, sure. But with due respect, this is none of your business. Uh, chicken, yeah, yeah. I, I, I am not doubting that. 
But since we've been friends for a long time, TK, you don't expect me to fold my arms and allow my friends marry you die. You're not preaching to me, are you? Chike, for goodness sake, I'm a Christian, how do you know that? Chike, I help people when they're in difficulties. See you in the church now. Chike, I would like to see the church in you. Are you confused or you don't know what to do? Uh, go to God in prayer. Not the mom. My sweet little baby, talk to me. You know you are my world. I can't bear to see you unhappy. Mom, why is it that you and dad always fight? My baby, I am sorry. At times, adults argue. It has nothing to do with you. Then, why is it that none of you care about me? anymore hey don't say that don't talk like that you know we care about you and we love you so much mom which game do i play now volleyball my angel that was last year why do i always go to my house all the time because she's your friend no because we are practicing a new dancing step Mom, who is our dancing coach? What prize did I win last week for my debate? You won a prize? Mom, I begged you. I begged you to come. But you said you are busy, Mommy, why? It's okay. Mommy, why? I'm so, so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, Chica and I, we are completely unaware that we are breaking our daughter's heart. That man is off in his own world. Since he got that job as a salesman, he is acting differently. He cares for nobody else but himself. Our daughter is staying away from him, but that does not bother him at all. I don't have proof, but one thing I know for sure is that he is cheating. Because he's not touching me, he's not getting it from me. Obviously, he's getting it from somebody else. But the most annoying part of it is the way he uses flirtatious words on other ladies. Oh, oh, okay, it's enough. Abigail, just stop, please. Stop! Listen, we just have one hour to spend together are we are we going to waste it talking about your husband are we going to try to find a solution to your problem which one would it be i'm so sorry Amanda. just that i get very angry talking about it oh, you're always talking about the negative aspect of your husband isn't it true he acts like the enemy he you know? is not the enemy you, your husband is not the enemy I understand how you feel because I went through the same thing. Now you see, when when I was married, when I was I was with Luke, yes, you know I was fighting him, thinking he was the enemy, but I was actually fighting my marriage and my family. And guess what? I ended up not even changing him. You can never change a man. And what did I achieve? Nothing. But I've never succeeded in changing my husband either. Exactly, exactly. That is the point. Let's sit down, please. Yeah, you see, the point is this. You cannot change. You cannot fight your husband. Because your husband is not your enemy. All right? You have to allow you God to, to do, do his job. Now, what you need to do for your husband is to um, love him, respect him, and pray for him. God knows that he needs that. 
allow God to change him. There's nothing you can do. Besides, men don't like it when their wives try to change them. You can never succeed. So you leave it for God to do his job. You step aside and God steps in and takes care of your family. I don't even know where to start from. Well, where to start? Okay. Now you take this journal. I have some of my favorite scriptures written in there. They helped me. And I'm sure it would serve as a stepping stone for you. Make good use of it, okay? Thank you, ma'am. God will do it for you. He did it for me. All he needs is for you to ask him. If you don't ask, he won't answer. But if you ask, he will be there for you. And I know it will work out for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, to God in prayers. To God in prayers, stop complaining. Are you rejected? Wipe your tears. I smile for the right I'm good, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. We got a confirmation call from donors. You did a good job. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Even Joe, your friend here, is impressed. Oh, oh yeah. yes, man. Congratulations. Ah, thank you, my guy. Thank you, my guy. Um, Chike, sir. Without wasting much time, I want to let you know that your commission has been increased. Oh, thank you very much, sir. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> By the way, what of Abigail and Valeria? Oh, they are doing great. Send my regards to them. Ah, they were here, sir. They were here, sir. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful. Is he making any effort? I mean, going now, submitting his CVs, calling people, calling his friends, searching for jobs on his own, instead of sitting down at home doing nothing. No, it's not right now. Why will he be at home doing nothing? No, now. He has to work out, work hard. You know, it's not that I'm trying to judge here or trying to tell you that eh, we are not going to help you. No. But you know, staying at home will not do him any good. Please, talk to him. Yes, you know, my husband is beginning to complain. I mean, put yourself in his shoes. It's not fair now. Just talk to him, talk to him, let him get something. Let him just start doing something. Okay, I will talk to my husband when he comes back tomorrow. All right, just take care of yourself. All right, bye. Dad, you know that this is just like rabbits. It's not this just that like it's rabbit. No, I don't mean it's and you're rabbits. And you carrying rabbits. I don't mean it's rabbits. And, it's and they are deceiving people with rabbits. It has a of rabbits. That is the way your ear is. No, it's just a toy. It's just a toy. Baby, how was your day? Fine. How is Dan? Dan is fine. What do you want, Abby girl? Mm, I wanted to tell you something about Linda. Tell her I don't have money for her lazy husband. 
Did I tell you I want to give your money to her husband? Yes. Because when you give your cousin my money, she will give it to her useless husband and he will useless my money. Come on, Chiki. Let's help her. If you had married a lazy husband, who would be helping you by now? Chiki, please. Even if you don't want to give her the money, do it for my sake. No. your mother, your people, your family, even your friends. But when it comes to my own people, it becomes a problem. Why? It's my money. Your money? Yes. No, our money. It's our money, Chike. Our money. Hey, we are still talking. And you call this talking? Woman, you're crazy. Go. Let me be. Oh, you think so? We shall see. Come back here. Come back here. What will you do? Hmm? Please, make sure you don't give my money to anyone. Oh, or what? Or oh. oh, what, Chike? Oh. I am talking to you. Me, the husband. Oh, 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 Dad, yeah. why are you angry with mom? Stop worrying, okay? But it makes you angry and makes mom unhappy. So how does it make you? Sad. I'm sorry, dear, but I don't know what to do. Maybe she just let mom up and see Lindy. What? Yes, it will make her happy because the Bible said that there is more happiness in giving than receiving. Valeria. Sir. Go, take that cup and go inside. Okay, sir. Um, Abigail, I'd like you to write all the wrongs that your husband has uh, done against you in that book. All right? I'll be back. If I do that, I'll be writing for a very long time. <laughs> then why don't you give us the highlights? I'll excuse you so you could do that, okay? Fog 
good pages. <laughs> That's a lot. I could write more, but you get to know the gist when you read it. Actually, I am not going to read it. I'd like to ask you a question. Do you think um, God loves your husband? We both know he does. And what about you? Do you love your husband? <laughs> Mrs. Doris, you are meddling. I love my husband so much. But he's not buried under a lot of frustration. I see. Do you think your husband deserves God's grace? Grace? I don't know if he deserves grace. And what about you? Do you deserve God's grace? <laughs> Mrs. Doris, you like pushing me to the wall, making me feel guilty. Oh, well, that wasn't my intention, but going back again to the word grace. You see, the Bible lets us know that no one is perfect. No one is righteous. Absolutely no one. It is only by the grace of God that we're able to make it to heaven. I'll tell you something. Our God sent his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to die on the cross so that we can learn to forgive, so that we can make it to heaven. By dying on the cross, he taught us to forgive. We need to forgive one another. Without forgiveness, we can never make it to heaven. I know, but that is so hard for me to do. And that is exactly where grace comes in. The grace of God. When you have it, it helps you to impact the same grace onto other people. Your situation is not alien to me. I had the same experience with Luke. Yes. I was so embittered, but I prayed. And I asked for his grace, and you know what? He gave it to me. I was able to forgive Luke, and I became free and happy. And that's all I'm asking of you. Mrs. Doris, do you want me to back off and choose to forgive him so he can run over me the way he wants? He will not walk over you. Because when you begin to pray for him, God will take charge of his own life. When was the last time you prayed with him or for him? I'm sure you can't remember. So you need to pray for him. And by the time you're free, you will now be able to face your real enemy. Real enemy? Yes. The real enemy is out there. He's invisible doesn't like to be seen. We sometimes call him Satan. He's out there to steal. He's out there to kill. He is out there to destroy. That is the one you need to fight. You can't fight him without prayers. And when you, when you destroy him, when you get him out of your house, because you know what? He's killing. He's destroying your home and he's stealing your happiness. You're the only one that can fight. So I beg you, go down on your knees in prayers so you will have the strength to fight him. Take back what is yours. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. We thank God.
When it comes to prayers, the Bible does not specify a room for prayer. But the scripture does say, go to your inner room, shut your door and pray to your Heavenly Father. And your Heavenly Father, who sees in what is done in secret, will reward you. Now, get rid of any distractions and focus your heart and mind on Him. Acknowledge that He is God and that you desperately need Him. Now, be grateful for your blessings, but leave your needs and requests to Him. If you get something to confess, confess it. Ask Him for forgiveness and choose to believe Him. When He says that He loves you and will take care of you, then pray for the heart of your husband your daughter and anyone else that the Lord brings to your mind, don't rush it and take your time and then listen. his heart. Go and touch his soul so that he can remember his family, so that he can remember his wife. Father, I know I have hated Chike for long. I know I have no love for Chike, but I have no right to judge him. You are the only one that I have right to judge. Father, restore love into my home again. Father, restore love into Chike's heart for me. Give him love to love me. Give me the heart to forgive him. Give me the heart to love him again, Lord. Father, come into my home. Father, come into my home and bring peace into my family. Father, wherever Chike is, any wrong he wants to do, Father, be with him. Father, prevent him from doing that wrong, oh Lord. Father, oh Lord, protect Chike. Wherever he is, let your anointing be with him. Father, forgive him, for he does not know what he's doing. Father, forgive Chike, Lord. Father, bring back my husband to me. Father, bring back my husband. Father, because the devil has come to steal, to kill and to destroy. Father, I, Father, you say you will give us life, life abundantly. Oh Lord, I trust in you. I believe in you, Lord. I bring my husband. Father, bring my husband back to me. Restore peace into my home. Father, bring my marriage together. And he took the blind man in his hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. Father, take my marriage in your hands in the name of Jesus. Father, take my marriage in your hands in the name of Jesus. 
take my marriage in your hands. Madam, please remind my marriage. Rest of peace into my home. Rest all love into my home. My father, rest all love. Bring back my husband. Please, my Lord. Jesus, may you reign. May you reign. Jesus, may you reign. May you reign. Jesus, may you reign. May you reign. Yesterday, you reign. You reign it in my life. Today, come and reign. I reign forever, Mom. Yesterday, you reign. You reign it in my life. Today, come and reign. I reign. Devil, where are you? Devil, show me your face. Wherever you are, I know you can hear me. Devil, I know wherever you are, you can hear me. You have played with my mind enough. Enough is enough, devil. Enough is enough, devil. Right now, Jesus has taken control over my home. Jesus has taken control over my family, over my marriage, over my husband. Wherever you are, come out and face me. Come out and face me, you demon. Come out and face me, you devilish man. Come out and face me, you homebreaker. You want to steal the joy of my home. You want to steal my husband. Wherever you are, come out and face me. But I know Jesus is the Lord of my home. I know Jesus has taken control over my family. Oh, my Father, my God, I thank you. I thank you because you have taken control. I thank you because you have delivered. Since you said it's your favorite, mm -hmm. I'd like to try it. All right, so let's go. <laughs> oh, well. I need you no more. But your Lord, I leave my house in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because I know you've answered my prayer. Wherever you get this right now, Father, go and touch his heart. Go and touch his heart. Go and touch his heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, 
foolish demon. Pack your load and leave my home. You cannot steal my marriage. You cannot steal my daughter. I'm sure you cannot steal my man. You leave my house, you demon. You ancient of darkness. You marry spirit. Pack your load and leave. And shake her mama. Sherry mama, shake her mama. I challenge you, demon. If you know you are not afraid of the most high God, come out and challenge me. I challenge you. You are not the giver of joy. I am tired of you stealing my joy. I am tired of you tormenting me. I did not get my joy from man. I did not get my joy from family. I did not get my joy from my job. I got my job from the living God. God is heaven is my joy. I therefore challenge you. Come out and challenge me. You demon, back your Lord and go. Holy God, fire, fire, fire. Back your Lord. Go. In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. What's the problem? Why are you leaving? I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry, I have to leave. No, 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 no. But you've not tasted the favorite drink yet. So? Maybe next time. But I have to leave. Chicken. Chicken. In any condition you find yourself Oh, go to God in prayer In any situation